Bankrate survey finds 50% of loan applications are denied, but maybe tech can help. AI might be able to help applicants gain access to credit that would otherwise be rejected. And that's what our next guest's company is doing. Joining me now, we've got Gal Krabiner, who is the Pagaya co-founder and CEO. Gal, great to have you here with us this morning. First, walk us through how AI can really kind of stand in the gap for improving someone's credit score in order to make them more credit worthy in order to get a loan. So Brad, first of all, thank you so much for your time and pleasure to be here. The, the, the statistics you started with are exactly the thing, the problem we're trying to solve in the US. 42 to 50% of people are actually getting denied to credit, although they should get. <clears throat> and what we do here in Pagaya, which is our mission, is we are trying to enable these borrowers to get more loans more often for their financial needs. Now, the way we do it is rather different. We are connecting to the banks that otherwise would have denied these borrowers, and we're helping them use AI to identify the borrowers that should actually get a credit, and by that, reducing the 42 or the 50% lower to be able to help them help their customers. Now, the interesting side is that the money we're using is not the bank's balance sheet. We're actually created on the other side of our network, a very strong, stable funding capabilities that is based on the biggest asset managers and pension funds and insurance companies in the world to be able to fund all these additional loans that are actually a very good performing loans of the people that otherwise the regulatory environment in the bank system will actually deny them. So these these are not kind of an, an additive like peer-to-peer -peer loan. That what, how, how would you define what this actually is? So I will define it as an enabling finance AI solution that is really targeting only the big financial banks in the US. And quite frankly, today, we announced the addition of Elevon, which is a top five payment global system as part of our partners. And next to them, we are working with US Bank on the personal loan. So we are helping them approve more personal loan. We are working with Ally to approve more auto loans. And we have working with SoFi, for example, to approve more personal loan and even Klarna on the point of sale. How does AI remove bias from loan servicing? So I think the really interesting part about the AI piece is that it allows to go above and beyond the traditional way that people think about credit scoring or credit risk. So for a US system or for FICO score, 700 FICO is very different than 699. For AI, it's not. So AI has the ability to go deeper into the data and use the vast majority of data that is behind the credit score and actually come to a conclusion that the difference between 699 and 700 is not that big. And therefore, to allow for that person to get a loan as he was or she a 700 FICO. And take us into Pagaya as the business. I mean, what, what is your profit model? How do you make money on this? So the way we make money is really by connecting the institutional lenders on the one hand side of our network with what we call the lending partners, which are the banks that I just shared. And we are taking three to 4% of the loans that are being originated for doing all of that, for pricing the loan, for connecting the things, for being able to fund it. So we are the connectivity tissue of if you want to think about it, the private credit and the public credit of the world that, as we know, is getting bigger and bigger, and you see the names of part of them on the screen, together with the loan origination systems of the big banks to allow for that streaming and the future of finance through the power of AI and connectivity to take to a completely new route. All right. I'm seeing your most recent earnings record net work volume of $2.42 billion, 31% uh, growth year over year. Good stuff there, Gal. We got to catch up in the future as well to see how the business is scaling. Gal Krubiner, who is the uh, Pagaya CEO and co-founder. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Brett. Certainly.